everyone listen up here. I was asking Rick about this idea of the exercise and this question of resting time. You know, we all know that after we would say maybe if you do strenuous strength training, you take a day to rest. But in this slow motion, high intensity, there's a kind of a very clear theory that, that the work is really done during the resting time, the work of building new muscle. Tell us about that, Rick. Tell us the Sure. The, the, the intense exercise and the intensity, again, comes from going to muscle failure, right. from pushing yourself to the point where you can no longer lift that Within weight. just a few seconds. Yeah. Within, right, eight reps, maybe you're at a minute, maybe a minute and a half, getting to that point where you can't lift that weight. That sends a very strong signal to the body to adapt to that level of stress. Yeah. But all the adaptations happen during the rest period. Now, typically, in the beginning, you can work out twice a week or so. Mm -hmm. As you get to higher and higher levels of intensity, as you acclimate yourself both mentally and physically to working at higher levels of intensity, you're going to need more rest period between workouts to allow your body to recover and actually experience the growth. If you work out too frequently, you interrupt that growth process and you never get the results that you want. So recovery is as important as the exercise itself. The exercise, again, is the stimulus. Is the stim recovery is when all the changes take place. You, you know, that's very interesting. It reminds me of Mark Twain who said something like, thunder is fine, thunder is fun, but lightning does the work. Uh -huh. And like, and you're, the work is done yeah. during that rest period, so don't minimize it. You just, with this extreme exercise, which may be just four or five minutes on several machines, all together four or five minutes, that is a stimulus that then the work is done with the week's rest. Mm -hmm. Yes, and I find that most of my clients re require about a week. And the way I figure that out is I chart everything. Mm -hmm. So I know how much weight you did, how many repetitions you've done, and how long you were on the machine. Mm -hmm. If the next week you should be able to do at least that or typically more than that. So if I see a trend where you're going up each time, that's fine. When I start to see a trend where you're starting to plateau or go down, I know you haven't had enough recovery, enough rest. Yes. So it's always in the numbers. The numbers are going to show you if you need more rest period or not. And that's a very good reason, all of you who are listening, mm. to think about can you find someone to help with training. We may be actually trying to work with Rick uh, via a distance, and, and certainly you can contact him at 2020 Studio Fitness in Albany. He'll help you develop your program. It's very good to have professional guidance for this really impressively effective strength training program.